Thank you all for being here with us. So much to get into. Of course, we have Dr. Ashton here to walk us through so much of this pandemic. But we start, as we often do, with the numbers, the coronavirus numbers from Johns Hopkins University. There are now more than 103.4 million cases we know about around the world, with at least 26.3 million of those right here in the U.S. And now 443,000 American lives lost. I know, and mm. we have a lot of news to get to as it uh, mm -hmm. pertains to COVID-19. There was some encouraging news to report yeah. about people who had already had COVID-19 and their response to vaccines. Well, there's been a study that's been published. Small about study, but okay. yes, we love to talk about some bright lights yes, here, and this is potentially encouraging news. Now, here are the caveats. This study has not been published, and it has not yet been peer-reviewed, and it is small. Also, the study authors from the Icon School of Medicine in Mount Sinai here in New York City did report a conflict of interest. They did disclose that they are developing vaccines and tests for COVID-19, but here is the data if you look at this. Um, they found that people who had COVID disease, when they were given the vaccine, they developed 10 times stronger an antibodies after the single wow. dose versus what we call COVID-naive people, meaning mm -hmm. they've never been naturally infected with COVID, after those people with their second dose. Huh. So this is potentially really important information because so many Americans have already had COVID and we're rolling out vaccines now. You heard both of us all reacting. Wow, to right. hear that, that's encouraging news. I know a lot of more work needs to be done, but what could this potentially change in terms of recommendations? So right now we have to be crystal clear. This is not changing the vaccination yeah. recommendations that the CDC is giving for people who have had COVID. Could it in the future? Yes, as we learn more about these vaccines in people People who have had COVID. It definitely needs more research, but again, it's another example. We continue to learn about this virus day by day. We'll take any good news yeah. we can get. Dr. Jen, thank, thank you God. as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.